Okay, welcome to Goodwood. Thanks for those, Martin. Num race 23, the penultimate of the day, is the Golf at Goodwood Nursery. Uh, one mile, two furlongs. As we're going to wait for the card to come up. So, it is an all to 100 handicap for two year olds. So, number one is Treco Bay for Graham Clutterbuck. Two, Dan Dare for Darren House. Three, Cheeky Monkey for Django. Four, Rainbow Lynn for Carl Arroganti. Five, Queen of Hearts for Derek Hinton. Six, No Hope for Alex Cherry. Seven is Sandy Madness for Stu Gray. Eight is Dirty Hashtag for Stu Gray. Nine is Queen Manet for Alex Cherry. And ten is Morning Concert for Meseret Mystery. So, ten of them here over this naught to 100. under the starter's orders and they break well, the one that broke particularly bad was no hope although Rainbow Lynn didn't come out particularly well either but it's Sandy Madness that's gone on into the front although uh, got a hold of his horse doesn't want to lead and it's Morning Crescent now for Meseret Mystery that leads us but uh, also not really want to take them along here as we wait for them to settle now instead of a mile and now they seem to uh, get into the motion of the of the race so it's morning concert from cheeky monkey in second and we've got no hope from alex jerry done well from uh, a pretty poor start and we've got rainbow lynn unfortunately uh not in the correct silks sorry about that guys did explain earlier then we've got dan dare on the right and then to the left Rainbow Lynn just being pushed along is Queen of Hearts being followed through by Dirty Hashtag Sandy Madness against the fence and the one just at the rear of Treco Bay and Queen Manor but with just five furlongs left to run here the morning concert still got this and the jockey's uh, still having a little bit of a pull on him now let's a quick look round sees what's coming and Dan Dare and Cheeky Monkey are the two that are threatening at the moment on the outside is Queen of Hearts Sandy Madness running on as well the two Alex Cherry horses Queen Manet and No Hope but still up front is Morning Concert Leads by just a length now from Queen of Hearts. Out of the pack comes Dan Dare to challenge. On the bridle looks promising as well as Sandy Madness. Further wider is Queen Monet and again Rainbow Lynn. So as we get inside the two and a half furlongs it's Dan Dare that takes it up from Queen Monet on the left. On the outside. On the inside running against the round now is Sandy Madness. Running on his Queen of Hearts and Rainbow Lynn. We go through the trees. It's Dan Dare that still leads us. A furlong and a half left to run. Dan Dare's got a length of find over Queen Monet. Sandy Madness on the inside. Queen of Hearts coming through between the two, but it's Dan Dare just sticking his neck out now with just under a half a furlong left to go. Dan Dare, Queen of Hearts is going to get up here. Dan Dare, Queen of Hearts, Dan Dare, Queen of Hearts. Dan Dare just going to hang on to that from Queen of Hearts in second. Queen Manet, I think, was third. Sandy Mandis was fourth. Well done, uh, Darren Howes there with Dan Dare. Hung on really well. Certainly got some uh, battling qualities, that horse. Unlucky for Del Hinton, just didn't get up in time. Good third for Alex Cherry and an alt to 100 for Queen Manet. See, I think uh, I got fourth and fifth. So Dan Dev Darren House takes that one. Well done. Second was Queen of Hearts for Derek Hinton. Third was Queen Manet for Alex Cherry. Fourth was Sandy Madness for Mr. Gray. And fifth was Dirty Hashtag, who never got into the race.